Hello friends, this video on metals and non-metals part 1 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Topics to be covered in this lesson are Introduction, Metals, Physical Properties of Metals, Non-Metals, Physical Properties of Non-Metals, Chemical Properties of Metals and Non-Metals where we will discuss reaction with oxygen, water, acids, bases and displacement reactions. And finally, the lesson will be concluded with uses of metals and non-metals. Now, the first question that strikes our mind is why should we study metals? Why do, should we spend so much of time understanding what are metals, what are their properties, how do they react? So, why do we want to do all that? So, let us see some of the things which we use in our day-to-day -day life and they are all made up of metals. So, the first thing that I will talk about is jewelry. Because it is something which is very common to you. You would have seen, you yourself might be wearing it or you would have seen your mom or your sister wearing it. Mostly rings, chains, earrings. So they are all jewelry. They are all made up of gold or silver and they are all metals. The hammer which you use to for constructing or for repairing a lot of things in your house, that also has an, a metal part. The tiny nail which is a very important thing for furniture making for constructing a lot of things so different parts of furniture or different parts of any instrument they are all joined together with the help of these tiny nails and they are made up of iron and iron is again a metal the fencing wires these are the wires which are used for protection purposes. You would have seen that people often fence their fields or gardens or in fact many people even put these kind of wires in outside their boundary just for protection. So these fencing wires are also made up of metals. Not only that, the guns used by the police officers for our protection made up of metal. A lot of um, things like uh, refrigerators, bicycle, bikes, cars, their body parts are also made up of metals. The trophy or the wires which conduct electricity, like, like how do we get electricity in our homes? Because of the wiring which is present. So we get it from the main source of electricity and these wires are made up of metals and metals are extremely good conductors of electricity and that is why they are used for making these wires. The trophy which you win uh, is also made up of metal. You, you must be winning the gold medal, silver medal and so on and they are all again metals. Car, as I said, a lot of vehicles have got uh, these metal parts. Watch watch also has a lot of metal parts now some of the watches they have their the entire band is made up of metal so this part is also metal in many watches this part might be plastic or ceramic or some other material but inside the dial also you have small small parts which are made up of metals so you see you actually get to see metals in a lot of things which we use in our day-to-day -day life Another such classic example are the utensils which you have in your kitchen. So these utensils, most of them are made up of metals or they are derived from metals. For example, uh, iron, bronze, they are mixed with some other uh, components and they form a lot of utensils. So that's how we see that metals are extremely important to us. So metals are there with us. Uh, almost every time we need them in some or the other way so now we will try to understand in this lesson what are metals what are their properties how do we get to know how can we distinguish a metal from a non-metal so before we start talking about the properties directly let us first quickly look at the history of metal so how how did these metals come into existence I mean, did, did we create them or they were already existing in nature? It was just that they were discovered by somebody. So, yes, it already existed there and it was discovered. The first metal which was discovered was gold and it was discovered in 6000 BC. So, you see, long, long time back. So, during the prehistoric time, gold was discovered. Even that time, due to its shine and appearance, people were like crazy about gold. It was costly since that time only. It has always been a costly metal because of you know, its appearance and the shine. Now, gradually as time passed, 
other metals were also discovered like a little later uh, copper was discovered then silver then lead tin iron and this period during which iron was discovered this is often termed as the iron age because once iron was discovered iron was comparatively cheaper when compared to the other metals like gold silver but at the same time iron was like a tough a very tough metal which could be used for constructing a lot of things like even today you see the bridges and all they are all made up of iron because of its rigidity because of its strength so this period so the discovery of iron was like a, a, a turning point i mean because this metal actually uh, helped the mankind in a number of ways so this period this time was termed as the iron age and then gradually this process of discovering metals continued gradually came up mercury platinum antimony bismuth zinc arsenic and you see it went on so we actually have a huge number of metals now once the trend started now until and unless gold was discovered nobody even knew that something like metals could also exist but once gold was discovered so those who had that instinct to discover something they kept their eyes open that okay something a new metal can always be there so that's how more and more metals got discovered so if you see the first discovery happened in 6000 bc and the discovery is still happening i mean discoveries keep going on it never stops so if you look at the year when aluminium was discovered it was just in 1827 which is not like it it was not a long time back so now it is 2015 and aluminium was discovered in 1827 but if you look at the ways the variety of ways in which aluminium is used these days we have aluminium vessels utensils we have the aluminium foils we have wires made up of aluminium so we have so many things made up of aluminium so it actually took a very long time to discover all these metals so it started somewhere in bc and it continued until 1800s and 1900s so that's how since there were a lot of metals so it actually took so much of time to discover all of them so that's how metals were discovered thank you please visit www.examfeo.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.